you doing? Again? You're not scaring me! What's up, Centennial? I'm your host, Riley Doherty. And I'm Evelyn Honeycutt. And, and you're, you're watching, watching episode, episode 9 of The Loft. Nights. Camera. Action. What's up, Centennial? It's Lesha with your weekly announcements. Make sure you show up and show out for our Lady Nights softball on October 7th at Holy Innocence and October 9th at Lanier. We have three fall concerts coming up. Chorus concert on October 8th, band on October 9th, and orchestra on October 10th, all in the auditorium, so make sure you come support. That's all for this week. Go night. American schools are underrated because they are really big and they have a lot of interesting subjects. I think American schools are overrated because people are not so close and so, so friendly between them. American schools are overrated because there's a lot of people and it's very busy. Taco Bell is overrated because they take a, lot, a long time to make the food and it's bad, I don't like it. Taco Bell is overrated because I thought it was going to be better. Target is underrated because it's very useful, it is cheap and it has a lot of options. Target is underrated because it's really big and it has a lot of things to buy. American football is underrated because people just uh, cheer and live a lot and that doesn't happen in Spain. American football is overrated because it's not that interesting. Hey Centennial, did you know that we have another weekly show that comes out on Mondays and Fridays? Make sure you check out The Shield on Instagram Reels and TikTok to follow along for more updates. Go Knights! You are in handicap and currently being towed. <sighs> PBIS is having an October event called Movie Night, and we need your help. We don't know what kind of movie to show. Scan the QR code and have your voice heard. Tell us what you want to see. Stay tuned for the big choice. Okay, now let's head over to Meredith Hughes and Carson Dunn for your weekly update. Welcome to Weekly Update. I'm your host, Meredith Hughes. And I'm Carson Dunn. Provincial police in Ontario say a farmer who previously had 30,000 chicks go missing in April has since reported that he lost another 15,000 since May. At the time of the first incident, police were still looking into how the culprit managed to flee with the flock. What? <laughs> How do those little legs move so fast? Ah, cars. Enough. Oh my god. 
Recent studies on elderly people have shown that an increase of physical activity can in fact be preventative to injury by fall. It has been proven that participation in a yoga class will improve their risk of injury by 15%. Since credible sources have told us that Mr. Beekner is in fact 55 years old, Maybe he should consider taking a few yoga classes to strengthen up. In other news, the same credible source that gave us this information completed the New York Times mini crossword puzzle in 19 seconds. We've never seen a faster time at Centennial High School. Critics said he couldn't do it, but in the end, he came out with a win. We'll be on the lookout for his new goal score, 16 seconds. In more recent news, the Centennial Knights football team took a devastating loss to the Chattahoochee Cougars two weeks ago. It seems we may have dubbed a possible culprit for this loss. What is it? Carson Dunn was seen across the other sideline rizzing up girls. Although the blame for a loss like this typically falls on the officials, this one's going to have to go to the notorious chicken burglar and betrayer of the Knights. That's all we've got for you this week, Centennial. We'll be back next week with another weekly update. Go, go Knights! Knights. For today's weather forecast on October 4th, Friday, the weather will be partly cloudy with a low chance of rain. The high will be 77 and the low will be 63. Saturday and Sunday, it will be partly cloudy with a high of 81 Saturday and a low of 63. For Sunday, the high will be 79 and the low will be 61. Stop me, but we are the best AV. Now I'm on the big TV. Jordan G can't stop me. I love the beat. You know how I go. I'm rocking with Zach. You know how we go. You know how I got biggest. Most, yeah. Hey, calling the stoop. You know how we got it. I'm right off the boot. Yeah, you know how I did it. Tweak, yeah. She wanna go with me, and now I'm on the flu. Yeah. I'm already carrying 4.0. Oh my days. <laughs> yeah. Centennial. I'm Carly. Welcome to our first episode of The Loft. Welcome to The Loft. Season 3 of The Loft. The first episode of The Loft. Season 5 of The Loft. Season 6 of The Loft. Enjoy Season 7, Episode 1 of The Loft. Welcome to your first episode of The Loft of this school year. Welcome back to the Wheel of Doom. I'm Jeremy. This is James. And our contestant this week is Joaquin. Joaquin, when you're ready, give it a spin. It's a good spin. It landed on 40 yard dash. We'll see you at the dashing field. We're live at the 40 yard line where Joaquin is about to make his dash. What is your predicted time? Uh, two seven. Two, two, two what? <laughs> two seconds. <laughs> two seconds. You heard it here first. All right, let's see how he does. <laughs> 
Welcome back to the post-game interview. He had a pretty good performance, but how do you think you compared to your time that you predicted? Uh, it was all right. You know, the ground was a little bit slippery, so it kind of messed me up, but that's okay. The ground was slippery, you know. <coughs> it would have been two seconds, but, you know, uh, we'll see you next week on the Wheel of Doom. Now time for your dad joke of the week. What do you call an angry carrot? A steamed veggie. <laughs> <laughs>
Our first game of the week is number 12, Ole Miss, facing the unranked South Carolina Gamecocks. I think Ole Miss wins this one. I haven't been watching them that much this year, but in NCAA, I'm wide receiver one and have won player of the week for multiple weeks. I'm setting national records, so I think I carry Ole Miss to win this one. I'm going with South Carolina this week. I picked them a couple weeks back against LSU, and they almost won. I think they get the win this week against Ole Miss. Next, we have the number nine Missouri Tigers taking on the number 25-ranked Texas a and I'm going with Missouri this week. The last time Texas A&M was ranked, they lost to Notre Dame at home. I think that continues this year. I also have Missouri winning this week. My cousin went there, and their quarterback is super tough. That one Instagram post was insanely cool, so I think Missouri wins this week. We have a national championship rematch as the number 12 Michigan Wolverines head to Washington to face the Huskies. Just like I've been doing all year, I'm going against Michigan. I think Washington gets their revenge from the national championship, and I think they take this one in the close game. He's been going against Michigan all year. I've been with Michigan all year. I'm sticking with it. Michigan gets the win in this national championship rematch. Go Blue. We have one NFL game this week with the Josh Allen-led Buffalo Bills going up to play the Houston Texans led by C.J. Stroud. I'm going with the Texans this week. I won against the Bills last week. That's going to continue. C.J. Stroud and that offense is going to lead them to this win. Following the beating they took last week against the Ravens, I think Buffalo bounces back and takes on a good Texans team, collects the win, bringing them to 4-1. and one. Well, that's it for week nine of CSPN. We'll hopefully see you guys next week on Fox 5 News. I was fired. I was fired. And I'm out. I was fired. You cooked. You cooked. My name is Cameron Yarbrough. I teach AP Psychology and American Government, as well as personal finance and economics. I've wanted to be a teacher my entire life. I have felt inspired by many of my own teachers, and I saw the impact that they had on students, including myself, and wanted to have that same impact. I think my favorite part of my job is getting to interact with students and getting to know them, laugh with them, um, tell jokes and things like that, and get to see them playing their sport and doing what they love to do. I think that everyone should take AP Psychology. It is, one, incredibly interesting, and it's a different kind of social studies class. We get to learn about the brain and learn about why we do the things that we do. We talk about our personalities and, and how those form and look at how we interact with other people. One piece of advice that I would give to my students is to not let other people's words and opinions have control over your emotions. You don't need to respond to everything that is said to you or about you. Go Knights! Welcome back to Man on the Street. We got Ford. Joe Five. Zay. Mia. So ask some questions. What year was the War of 1812? 1812. 1812? Name three countries outside of the United States. Name three countries outside of the United States. Mexico, Canada. Right, Mexico and Canada. You didn't say that. All right, all right, all right. Wait, no, 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 you have to redo the question. No, no. No, it was the, the easy ones. You, you didn't know. The, the, no, that's not. Name three countries outside of the USA that aren't Mexico or Canada. Poland, Germany, Russia. It's Poland a country. Australia. El Salvador. Fine. South no. Korea. There's a country. Bro, did you hear him, bro? He said South Korea, bro. That's a country. That's a country? Am I tripping? Never mind, I'll find someone like you. You got fake lyrics. You know what I'm saying? At least speak You know it? You know it? No. Ooh, <laughs> I wish nothing but the best for you. I threw a wish in the well. Ask me, I'll never tell. I looked at you and I fell, and now you're in my way. Yeah. That's all for this week's Centennial Nights. And we hope you have a great weekend, and we'll see you next week. 
Go Knights! Go Knights.